today we're on a man-made palman fishing for something normally not fished by a lot of fishermen and that would be the white sucker this is a stocked lake uh, was stocked with rainbow trout and largemouth bass which we we'll catch a few of those today I won't be complaining but our target fish is actually the sucker uh, for one reason and that's uh, for to make great cut bait they're fun to catch actually challenging to catch they have a really soft bite and thus needing a really limber soft rod so we'll keep a few for cut bait and then the ones that we don't use we'll throw back I haven't seen too many hits on the screen yet. It's usually a good spot. This pond is full of suckers. I'll try to catch some. Not the species we're looking for, but nice one. Here's what we're looking for. Old Montana white sucker. Good size one for cut bait, about perfect size for cut bait. We'll play him out, we scale him. Nice one. Be a good cut bait. Changed it up, went to an atomic ant. See if that does a little bit better. Nice sucker. Bigger than the other ones. Another one for the buckets. Nice little unexpected guy. Well, fishing slowed up some. We had a great day on the ice, caught a trout, small largemouth bass, and most importantly, some suckers, which we'll flay up and vacuum pack for use this winter when the main lakes freeze up. We make fantastic ice fishing bait. Now 
show you how in just a little bit. Okay, before I lose light, I'm going to show you how to descale these fish. Pretty easy. You take a pretty good stiff bladed flay knife and you just start going opposite direction. And being that you're using them for flays and cut bait, you don't have to get all the scales off. But you do want the majority of them so because you, you don't want these things fighting them when you're trying to put them on the hook. I don't recommend doing this in the house. It is a very messy job. So find a bucket where you can do it over. And you can see that they come off fairly easy with the knife at the right angle. Just like that. It actually works better if your knife's a little dull. It'll take more of the scales off. A little easier. That's what you end up with. Okay. So once you're going to fillet, you do not want to gut. Ones that you're going to make into cut bait, you can gut them right now. All you do Slip the knife into the anal. Work your way up to the throat and past. And pull out the guts. You can see this was a female. Four eggs. Alright, doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, it's just going to be cut bait. So, that one will chop up. Alright, to fillet these suckers, cut right behind the dorsal. Angle your knife back toward the tail. You've got to have a pretty heavy blade. They're very bony. Follow the spine. all the way back to the tail, just like that. Then, taking your knife, angle it underneath the rib cage, and slowly work underneath it, just like that. Remove the rib cage. And there you go, there's your filet. Just like that. And there's your two filets. All right, for the one we're gonna chunk out for cut bait, take the one you gutted, cut the head off. begin chunking. Chunk it for the side of the fish that you're going to be fishing for. What you want to do is cut this back piece in half exposes more flesh that way. Like so. 
Do the same with all the rest of the pieces. And there you go. Perfect for ling, lake trout in the spring, anything. All right, at this point, the stuff that you chunked up is ready for the vacuum, getting vacuum sealed. You don't want to add any salt or anything like that. Uh, I have better luck when it's natural and fresh. With the fillets, though, you want to set them on a drying rack or a cooling rack. And you want to add a little bit of pickling salt. Uh, you don't want to use table salt that has uh, other additives in it. This is iodine free, no additives. And what you want to add the salt for is to, you don't have to add very much. What that does is draw out the water. So you let this sit for a couple hours. And it kind of dehydrates it. So then when you go to use, when you cut off little pieces of triangle to put on your spoons, the meat and the flesh will hold on there better. The suckers are ready for vacuum packing, which will hold the freshness for about six to eight months. After that, they will freeze or burn and no longer any good for fishing. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and see you out there fishing.